Hello and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077, the next six scale figure in the video game masterpiece line by Hot Toys. We start our look at the figure with the box. It is in a bright yellow and features a photo of the figure right there jamming on his guitar on the front. Now these panels right here and on the side flap are a laser cut and underneath have that cybernetic arm look. On the back of the box is going to be a nice close up of that left cybernetic arm. It's a magnetic book style closure and on the inside we're going to have our figure in its window box and on the other a brief description of cyberpunk what looks to be a photo of Keanu Reeves but is indeed an actual still from the game. Here we have the rock star of the hour, Johnny Silverhand. His assortment of extra hands, his guitar, duffel bag, bottle of tequila, Malorian pistol, wristband, dog tags, and sunglasses. Under the figure is going to be a special display base and stand. And underneath the figure is going to be a backdrop for further enhancing your display. Here's Johnny, his backdrop, his special display base and stand, his duffel bag with insignias, right hands, left silver hands, wristband, amber colored sunglasses, dog tags, liquor bottle, Malorian pistol, and his samurai axe guitar. Now let's zoom in and take a look at the detail on this figure. The biggest rock star of 2077, Johnny Silverhand. Let's take a look at the portrait. First up, that long hair, beautifully done, individual strands all the way down, and how it curves, wisps, and twists there in the back, flowing down over the shoulders. We have that facial hair right there on the front, a little five o'clock shadow style, a great fun glare in the eyes with an intense look. There on the forehead, as well as on the left side of the bridge of the nose, you can see he's already been scratched and beat up a little bit. Johnny has had one rough night of rocking out. Working our way down from the head, we take a look at the outfit. There on his chest is going to be the padded vest. And it's stitched in individual little shapes all the way throughout with nice tight stitching, as well as Velcro and clasps holding it in place. We've got his signature little patches there on the front and on the back, you are gonna see the Samurai Band logo down as we work on the inside of the bicep area we're going to have his tattoo down out of the forearm also more tattoos and on his index middle and small finger rings and a cobra head and cobra tail tattoo on the hand now that cobra head and tail tattoo pattern on the hand is repeated on all the swap out right hands the left arm or his cybernetic arm we start up where the shoulder meets it, and we have a hint of that flesh still on there with the metal underneath and the little metal lines under it. Then we work down into a metal, black, and red color palette. The red lines, even though it's a cybernetic arm, gives it a hint of a muscle-like tissue. All of the metal pieces have been given a bit of texture and wear, and a black wash throughout the whole thing to really pull out the design. Here on the elbow, on the front of the elbow, you're going to have this black bit of rubberized material as well as a cord on the side. And on the very back, you're gonna have those two arrow tips pointing out. When this arm is bent in its 90 degree position, this rubberized material will move out of the way. Johnny's belt is made up of individual bullet shells wrapping all the way around his waist and a dark brown leather pant. The pants are done in multiple panels and tight stitching throughout here on the knees as well as in the front and the pockets. They cover his three quarter boot that is molded in one solid piece with little hints of metallic buckles on the outside of each of them. The vest that we spoke of earlier can be removed from the figure. Simply remove the portrait, and on the side are two Velcro pieces you undo and slide it off. Underneath the vest is going to be his black band insignia tank top. With it removed, we also see a little bit more of where that cybernetic arm connects to the actual tissue 
right there at the front. Now with the vest removed, we're gonna be able to show off the articulation just a little bit easier. So let's get into that now. The head is gonna be on a ball joint and that allows us to turn the head right or left. We get a bit of tilt side to side. Tilt the head down forward and lift upward. Now, because there is no costume that covers the arm, we have a larger range of motion. We take a look here at the side, you can see that this whole area will move, allowing us to move that arm further forward and row further back. We can also shrug upward and drop down. The arm can extend out to the side. Because there is no restrictions, I have a full 180 degree turn on the arm. The arm does have a bicep cut right up here where that metal look is, allowing us to turn in and out. Here at the elbow, we have a 90 degree bend. And when doing that, be cautious of the two arrow tips on the back. When I do that 90 degree bend, you see the cords on the side and the wiring in the front does move out of the way. Here on the wrist, traditional ball joint gives us full rotation and flex. The range of motion here is repeated on the flesh colored arm. With the arms out to the side, we can take a look at our chest articulation. We get a good full rotation side to side, as well as lean left and right, deep crunch forward, and rock and roll extension back. The leg can extend out to the side, can kick forward, extend back, the entire leg can rotate in or out, double jointed knee under the leather pants. And down here on that three quarter boot, a ball joint allows for plenty of extension and flex, rock side to side and rotation. Here are the accessories you can add onto the figure. A right and left hand, either one for holding the pistol, right and left fist, right and left hand for playing the guitar, a right hand for holding the duffel bag, and a left hand for rocking out. Over here, his dog tags, wristband, and amber-colored sunglasses that can go onto the portrait of the figure. The special Malorian pistol. The handle is gonna be done in a see-through tortoise shell look, and you're going to have multiple metallic colors in the clip as well as the body. Running down the right-hand side is gonna be Silverhand Customs Malorian Arms Night City. And that top actually slides. Johnny's drink of choice is a bottle of tequila. This particular one, you can actually see the tequila inside. What looks like a wooden stopper up top, the entire bottle has a cross hatch look to the glass and then the logo of the brand right there on the front. A blue and silver duffel bag with the samurai name on the one side, Johnny Silverhand's left rocking hand in the other, the samurai logo, multiple patches and pins down the side. It features a fully functioning zipper and inside a bit of foam in order to keep that shape. The special samurai guitar in its very unique shape. It's gonna be in a gloss black. The strings are actually a soft, material that can be moved. Throughout the front of it is gonna have unique stickering as well as etchings that Johnny's put on there himself. You're gonna have the amp pickup on the lower edge and chipped paint on the front, the top, and also on the back. And the strap on that guitar is adjustable. A hexagonal bass, Cyberpunk 2077 up on the top, Johnny Silverhand on the front, and a see-through gold color figure stand and the Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Backdrop. This has been Sideshow's first look at Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077, 
by Hot Toys from their video game masterpiece series. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. And make sure to tune in to Unsealed and Revealed for rock star style posing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.